is so we are ready to begin our tech talk today on revolutionizing CAD with Solid Edge Sacronius Technology. And hopefully I am saying that right. Now we're going to do questions at the end uh, live. So, but please go ahead and uh, if you have something as it comes up through the uh, through the session, go ahead and enter it into the chat and we'll read those out at the end. Now our fabulous presenter today is Mr. Aaron Creech and he's located in our Cincinnati office. A uh, little bit about Aaron. He has over 20 years of experience in the design engineering field, uh, and that includes work in mechanical, environmental, architectural, automotive industries. You ask, and Aaron has. <laughs> so uh, his design expertise, you know, it's really gone for everywhere from concept design, product development, all the way through to production procurement. Um, and this in includes extensive experience using various, you know, 3D design packages. So Aaron is definitely the man of the hour or man of the half hour as it may be. All right. Well, welcome, Aaron. We're so happy to hear what uh, what information you have to join with us. The Tech Talk is now yours. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another segment of our monthly Solid Edge Tech Talks brought to you by your Siemens product experts here at Prolum Global. So in case this is your first time catching one of our live tech talks, um, we host a Siemens product solution tech talk every Thursday. And we know you're all a little, pretty busy um, and likely can't attend every, every tech talk we have weekly. Um, so we're sure to publish all of these live tech talks to our uh, Prolum YouTube page um, the same day that we present um, the live activity. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow us on YouTube and get access to all this amazing free content. So here's a quick look at our agenda for today. So uh, obviously we're gonna look at the benefits of synchronous technology. Um, so we'll kind of touch on history-based modeling versus direct modeling versus synchronous-based modeling um, and kind of get a comparison of the three. Um, we'll see how we, can, uh, how we can achieve fast and flexible design changes. And those can include uh, precise direct modeling. And then how we can do quick responses to last minute design changes. And then we can even simultaneously edit of multiple parts inside of the assembly. And I think most importantly, maybe some improved design reuse uh, techniques. So let's go ahead and look into it. So we've had a ton of recent requests from highlights uh, of the differences and benefits between synchronous technology and ordered environment. So for all of those ordered and history based users out there or even on the call today, Hang with us and let, let us show you uh, so how these two environments can be used in harmony together, not just one or the other. So today I'll do my best to educate you on the synchronous technology to hopefully provide you with some use cases that might help improve or at least speed up your current design process. Solid Edge has been around for a long time and in some areas it does look and feel just like a lot of other CAD packages. But there is a real differentiator built in Solid Edge, and that's synchronous technology. So now rather than just dismiss this as some sort of buzzword, let me explain and introduce you to why Siemens created it. So we're all familiar with the traditional modeling approaches in today's modeling paradigm. The most common types of CAD systems available in the marketplace today use what's called history-based modeling. Uh, and because it's so great, uh, such as being dimension-driven, can be highly automated, and is feature-based, it's so good, in fact, that Solid Edge has been a history-based modeler for over 20 years now and continues to provide this method. Um, however, we've worked this way for so long that we've learned to ignore some of the not so good things, um, such as having to spend time pre-planning the model before we ever start, and it's quite inflexible. So looking for a better way to work, we can turn to direct modeling. And because this has some great benefits, such as uh, direct interaction with the model and is highly flexible, but there are some downsides to this method too, such as being featureless, so not very organized, and has weak dimension-driven editing. So how about we take the best of both of these worlds, but leaving out the downsides to both? So this is why Siemens created synchronous technology with unique items such as 3D driving dimensions, face relationships, procedural features, and a design intent to really synchronize these worlds together. So to summarize, we get the best of both worlds modeling, the best of history-based and the best of direct modeling methods 
And that's what's synchronous technology. The robust, the robust engine behind all of this is Parasolid. It's so good, in fact, that it's used by many other CAD systems on the market today. However, you might not know that it, it's actually owned by Siemens. Siemens just keeps the best bits for our own products. So synchronous technology is exclusive to just Siemens software and no other CAD solution has this capability. So here's a quick look at some of the solid edge functionality and tools that are only available in the ordered and or the synchronous environment. So this is why the hybrid approach is the ideal method for modeling in solid edge. So you have access to all of the tools and the functionality that solid edge has to offer. So for instance, on the left-hand side, uh, we have ordered environment kind of broken up into part environment and the sheet metal environment. And you can see there are a few um, options in the part environment for ordering uh, in the ordered environment that are available that aren't available in a synchronous environment, such as the stitch weld and the label weld. Um, and the sheet metal environment is probably the biggest impact. Um, I would say um, in the green there highlighted for the ordered uh, modeling environment, you have access to the multi-edge flange, lofted flange, cross break, closed three bins, normal cutout, mirror copy part, and a few other um, options that are only available in the sheet metal environment under the ordered part concept. Um, but on the synchronous side, you kind of have the kind of the give and take. So um, in the part environment, in the synchronous environment, we have that reverse engineering um, and 3D, 3D uh, print capabilities. Um, but we have no external linking, so that's kind of the downsides because this is direct modeling. It's very hard for the system to, to link um, features and parts. Uh, but then in the sheet metal environment, we do have a couple of um, pros, I guess you could say, in the synchronous environment. So um, if we're using sheet metal parts from other CAD softwares, maybe we want to be, have the functionality to recognize a hole and create that as a feature. Um, recognize whole patterns or any other patterns for that matter. So we synchronous environment has the ability to kind of understand these existing patterns that weren't weren't designed inside of solid edge, but can then uh, extrapolate them as solid edge um, pattern features. And again, no linking. So you can see here the pros and cons of each environment and why we would want to kind of use this hybrid approach and accessing all of this stuff as opposed to only having access to one or the other. So synchronous technology is a set of game-changing tools that allow you to graphically and dynamically edit 3D CAD data on the fly. These are patented tools as well. So no other CAD system has this technology, as I mentioned before. So you get a leg up on the competition, uh, unless you're, they're already using solid edge uh, synchronous technology as well. So these tools working alongside your familiar history tree, so they don't replace it, just adds an extra set of tools that you have at your disposal to take advantage of. So for many simple tasks, we compared solid synchronous technology to the common ordered modeling techniques. And in most cases used in synchronous, uh, we can easily reduce several common 10 minute tasks into 10 second tasks. So with synchronous technology, we can easily you know, click 3D designs um, without the need to understand the history of the model or spend time pre-planning or approaching um, that design change. We really don't care about the, the original user's intent, uh, but we can automatically extrapolate the design intent automatically, um, and it's recognized in this synchronous environment, and we can adjust on the fly. So we don't have to worry about failed features after a parametric ed edits anymore using the synchronous technology. And then we can graphically and ed accurately edit geometry using push-pull uh, or add uh, additional controls with 3D driving dimensions. We can edit it, edit multiple features and even multiple parts simultaneously inside of an assembly. And we have copy, cut, paste features, and we could even drag and drop uh, features from one model into another for easy design reuse. And this all works in harmony with the history-based techniques for a true hybrid modeling workflow. So no great impact to your current design process. So let's watch a quick video to kind of understand this workflow a little better. You have an idea, not just any idea, a great idea. An idea for a coffee machine that remembers exactly how you take your coffee. Everyone will want one. You'll be a millionaire. Now to make your dream a reality. But why did designing your product feel like a nightmare? The problem wasn't your idea. The problem was your CAD software. 
All that planning before you could start designing, it slowed you down. That great part you wanted to add, the one your friend helped you out with, you couldn't work with it, so you had to recreate it from scratch. Oh, and the important change you realized you needed to make at the last minute? No! It's taken all your time, but doesn't look anything like your vision. This is not what you meant to make, because your 3D CAD software didn't let you make it. But Solid Edge from Siemens will. Thanks to Solid Edge's synchronous technology, you'll be able to design as quickly as you think. No worrying about order, no clicking through lots of commands, just draw. You can import files and work with them as if they were your own. And you'll be able to make changes easily at any stage without having to redo anything, which means it'll do exactly what you and your customers want it to. Now that's more like it. Visit Siemens to find out more today. So here is another kind of example of synchronous technology in action. Now, it's a simple and graphical way to dynamically edit 3D CAD on the fly. Synchronous, again, isn't a new way uh, of life for engineers. You still have the history tree. That's still there. Synchronous is just a part of that approach. So it's as simple as just a quick, uh, quick way of doing simple tasks that would take much longer using history-based modeling. Push this, pull that, click and drag over there, solids, sheet metals, and so on. Um, copy and paste also works just like Windows intended it. Um, and then here you can see that we have some live sectioning uh, to kind of help make us those, make those dynamic, dynamic edits right there in the model view. Pretty cool. So, and then here's a simple equation for you. Synchronous technology equals ROI. So this is the real benefit of synchronous technology. So when we look at uh, opportunities to reduce our design time by using some synchronous functionality, say in our previous example, uh, previous example, if we start with reducing one 10 minute task and we turn that into a 10 second task and we currently do that task once an hour, that simple re re reduction in our workflow can generate, believe it or not, an ROI of 53,000 or maybe a cost avoidance, uh, $50,000 a year for a small five team, uh, five engineering team. So for example, um, design edits, um, we can also ask the question, wouldn't we all like to save $53,000 a year? Well, it's possible with adapting this new workflow. So with this new workflow and potential of reduced design time, we can launch our products faster, reduce time spent on repetitive design tasks, invest more time in the new ideas and creating new IP, and even increasing sales through faster production launches. And I can share this uh, ROI calculator with you guys if you'd like to see this for yourself. And I challenge you, <laughs> see if you can uh, come up with a, a process improvement um, activity and if you can verify that you with using this ROI tool I, I think it makes a great case for uh, using synchronous with your team so here are a couple of uh, case studies uh, of success or success stories for some of our larger customers that are primarily um, synchronous based modeling houses or at least a hybrid approach um, Kimball is a large high-end uh, corporate furniture design manufacturer they say that synchronous technology delivers higher design productivity and is much more fun to use. Um, Troby says that synchronous te technology is 10 times faster for design changes. So those are pretty uh, pretty bold statements there from, from fairly large customers um, that use synchronous technology. So I said earlier, uh, this is all unique to Siemens. So here are the patents that actually form the backbone of that synchronous technology. Here are a couple of patent numbers here. Um, so no other 3D CAD product has this. So it truly is game-changing technology from Siemens um, over 10 years of in, in development and counting. And synchronous, again, really is that differentiator from all the CAD products out there. And the best part about it is that it's free. It's already included in your solid edge system. So looking into the near future, as the rapid path of new technologies, synchronous technology forms part of the next generation design capabilities for 3D CAD from Siemens. 
So the tools on the outside are the new technologies that I think uh, I've probably discussed at nauseum for the last few years. So we have generative design built into Solid Edge, and this uh, allows us the creation of organic designs through using um, Solid Edge automated intelligence. And reverse engineering, obviously, uh, scanning of those 3D parts to take them back into or introduce them into a, the virtual world or the digital world. And then also um, access for augmented and virtual reality are all kind of part of this next generation technology. Um, and again, added manufacturing, so 3D printing. And it's no longer becoming just for prototypes. There are a lot of businesses out there that are using real short run production manufacturing um, parts with their 3D printers. Now, the really interesting thing here is about the new technologies is that they're all based on triangular and mesh uh, modeling uh, concepts. And they've kind of always been thought of as, as a dumb type of data. But in the center is, is your 3D CAD system, right? Including that solid edge, which uses the, it's called VREP model um, or boundary representations or a solid model. So you have cones, planes, cylinders, analytic geometry in your models. Um, so traditionally, you kind of use all these different systems to interact with these types of worlds. So some sort of like fringe system on the outside of your engineering process. Well, now Solid Edge allows you to use this patented technology that we call convergent modeling. And the middle circle, the solid model, which integrates all of this together in a completely seamless way, that's the synchronous technology. So you can really tell if you're working with a mesh model or if you're working with a full BREP model. It all works perfectly seamlessly. And again, in the heart of it, it all is the synchronous technology. That's what enables you to utilize these uh, next generation design uh, functionality. So finally, um, to better assist you, assist you in exploring the benefits of synchronous technology, some recent enhancements um, in Solid Edge 2023 uh, were the introduction of some syn synchronous tools right here inside of the ordered environment. So you can now move rotate and offset faces right in your ordered environment. You get the synchronous design intent rules available uh, when you make these operations. Um, so you control if you want the symmetry or whole alignments, coplanar and tangent surfaces to either be included or not, it's up to you. So the cool synchronous steering wheel also has been added into the ordered environment when you perform these type of synchronous actions. So it's not just there in your normal uh, history-based environment, but if you choose to do so, it is available uh, for you. So again, kind of everything that you're already comfortable with. So let's see a quick demo of this um, inside of the ordered environment. We'll now see how quickly we can make the design changes within ordered modeling using some of the synchronous features. You can find these commands under the Home tab. We have three options available, Move Face, Rotate Face, and finally offset face. Now as a design change, we have been asked to increase the length of the connecting rod. So let's select the move face option. We now select these faces and accept. We now get the synchronous wheel, which we'll place at the center of the circle. We can also see that we have access to all the design intent tools which are available for us below. Next, we can drag the arrow to either add material or remove material. We can even key in the value as desired. Let's key in 15 mm. Now below we can see only the design intent tools which are available for this operation. In case we want to add material to only the left hand side of the connecting rod, we can uncheck the symmetric about YZ plane. And you can see that the length of the connecting rod has decreased from the right side. If you need to make any changes to this, we can see that this operation has been captured within the part finder. So just click on move and edit definition. Here we get all the relevant design tools along with the dimensions that we have just added. Check the symmetric about YZ plane to add the material. Next, click on the movement tab. Now this will take you to the steering wheel which was placed at the same location and orientation when we started to make the changes. From here, we can make the changes to the dimensions as well if needed. Key in 20 mm to increase the length of the rod. Next, as a part of the design change, we have been asked to change the angle of these faces. So here, we use the rotate faces option and select these four faces. Once 
one selected place a synchronous wheel at this location and key in the value. It's going to be minus 5 degrees over here. Right click to accept. You can again control the symmetry with the help of these design tools. So uncheck the YZ plane and accept. We can also increase or reduce the size of the connecting dot. And for this, we will use the offset faces option. Select these two faces and pull the arrow to add or remove the material. Key in minus 1.5 mm to remove the material. So here we can see that with the new synchronous commands within audit modeling, we can make changes to the existing designs faster and more efficiently. So on top of that, um, we also have some really uh, detailed learning documentation that we can provide to you and your team uh, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the power of synchronous technology. Um, and there are even some resources built directly inside of the Solid Edge environment. So under the uh, Discovery tab, at, once you've opened up the application, there's a plethora of free training content and tutorials available for you to try. So if you just uh, hit the Tutorials uh, tab there and then um, type in synchronous modeling, for instance, and then you'll be presented with a ton of great educational content. Um, so really, there is no excuse to not start trying out synchronous technology uh, if you're not already doing so. So in summary, we kind of looked at the differences between the history-based modeling versus direct modeling versus that synchronous-based modeling um, comparison, how it kind of really leveraged the, the good of all of those three types and kind of leaving out the not so great things. Um, we saw how fast and flexible design changes can be. Um, we can even create precise uh, direct modeling um, and then quick responses to last minute design changes. So very easily we can use that design intent um, to make a change um, when time really does count, you know, at the very end of the design phase and we got to get this product out to the floor uh, for manufacturing, we shouldn't spend a lot of time, um, you know, rethinking the entire design just to make one quick little change. And then how we can uh, simultaneously edit uh, multiple parts inside of assembly and then the ever so important improved design reuse. So we want to be able to reuse as much um, parts and data and features that we can to make our job a little easier for the next iteration of the of the product.